This change to mail-in ballots came during the pandemic, and it was part of a broader state law aimed at expanding voting rights and access. All right, let's bring in Kim Alexander from the Cal Voter Foundation. It's a nonprofit that works to improve the election process. Thanks for joining us, Kim. It is November 17th. Votes are still getting counted. We had to put up with those commercials, with the people attacking each other. We just want the results. So what, if anything, can California do to get us faster results? Well, the reason that it's taking so long, as you pointed out, is because most of our ballots are now being cast as vote by mail ballots, and these simply take longer to process. We have to make sure that people who are casting vote by mail ballots didn't also vote in person, and making sure that only valid votes are, are counted, that every signature is verified. So, in giving voters this access to vote by mail, it does add a lot more time on on the ballot counting process. There are some things that we could do to speed up the process. We could uh, provide more high speed processing equipment in counties that need it. Um, we did hear some reports, like in Kern County, that they could really benefit from an ad additional tabulator. Um, we could also look into giving voters the ability to take their vote by mail ballots that they filled out to a voting site or their county election office and have it scanned and counted right there on the spot and not have to put it in an envelope. That's something Shasta County is doing and their voters really like that. So that could uh, reduce some of the vote by mail ballots. We could uh, encourage more people to vote early. There are a number of counties like Sacramento that have early voting, but over half the counties do not. And if we did set up more early voting sites, more people could go vote in person. Um, and we can also provide more funding for election administration generally. I mean, the election is over for the candidates and the voters, but for the election officials, they are still working round the clock without a break under in enormous pressure. And uh, it's, it's really causing a lot of our uh, talented election staff to really you know, be on the verge of burning out. And I am concerned about that as well. So they need support year round. They need more funding from the legislature for all aspects of election administration, not just ballot counting. Yeah, it sure is a long haul for all of our election officials across the state. Kim, election day now turning more into election week, perhaps election month. Some have uh, questioned if there's something wrong or perhaps even suspect going on here. What's your response to those concerns? You know, it is definitely an, a concern if there is this perception. I think it's important to get the message out to folks that the reason it's taking while, a while is because election officials are doing this due diligence, making sure the signatures check out, making sure only valid ballots are counted, and making sure that nobody votes more than once. So that... That's, you know, our words of reassurance. We did just start a uh, close contest tracking service on our website at calvoter.org. You can find a, a link there where we are tracking those close contests in the state, including the ones you talked about, um, day by day so people can see how many ballots have been counted each day, how many ballots remain to be counted. And I think providing that kind of transparency, which I hope maybe in the future the state and counties will be able to provide can help give voters a better picture of what's happening day by day. And that might uh, alleviate some of the questions and concerns some people might have. All right. Kim Alexander from the Cal Voter Foundation, thanks so much for joining us tonight.